Hello everybody and welcome to Tiger Tales, the place you'll find stories and fan fictions written and read to you by your host, me, Ty Tiger. Today we're diving back into Power Rangers Universe 113, and we're continuing our story of Power Rangers Future Foundation, the first ever story I ever uploaded onto Tiger Tales. In this chapter, the return of Adam Park. Adam Park comes back from Universe 19, where he's originally from. The last time we saw Adam Park was the crossover between Cyberforce from Universe 19 and Future Foundation. Universe 19 is a podcast where you'll find all the stories taking place on that uh, fictional universe, written and read to you by Cosmo2637. On Universe 19, Adam, we last saw him, leaving for Triforia to aid Trey, our Gold Zero Ranger. Now, the last time we saw the Future Foundation Rangers, Chloe and Dante finally got together, and they aided Xander in fighting a bat-like monster. But of course, we continue with the return of Adam, and something seems odd. Something seems new. Let's find out. Welcome to Universe 113, a place where an old evil has continued its quest for ultimate power, starting by kidnapping previous rangers and stealing their powers. But not all is lost, as a new generation of rangers is born, bringing new life to the legendary powers that came before them. They are the new heroes of Earth. They are Power Rangers Future Foundation. Power Rangers Future Foundation Chapter 28 The Return of Adam Park Amy walked into the dojo to find Luca and Xander sparring, and Chloe and Dante sat on one of the practice benches, cuddling up together. Amy looked at them oddly, then Chloe grinned at her. You mean, Amy said, pointing at the pair of them with a grin. Yeah, Chloe sighed happily, then she planted a kiss on Dante's cheek. Ah, you guys are so cute, Amy called out. Amy then walked over and hugged Chloe at the same time Xander tripped Luca over. He fell on his back. Xander chuckled and pulled Luca up onto his feet. Suddenly, CJ called them from the apartment upstairs. Everyone ran upstairs and CJ's computer monitors was painted with the image, image of a monster destroying an electri- electricity plant. Uh, we have a problem, CJ barked as she spun around to face them. We got a job to do. Obviously. CJ, get hold of Leo and get him to meet us there. Dante ordered. CJ saluted them, and the team teleported away. The team teleported in and found the monster sucking up the electricity out of the electricity plant. Excuse me, I hate to interrupt lunchtime. Xander called out. The monster turned around to face them. It looked like a monster made of snakes, like white scales, with lightning insignia on its chest. Its hand looked like an open mouth snake, and its fangs looked like plug prongs. I am current tile. The monster chuckled. And we call you bye-bye, Amy barked. All right, guys, let's make this quick, Dante called out. Dante held out his power morpher. Mastodon, he called out in a flash of black light. He morphed into the black Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. Chloe's dino gem shifted into a dino morpher. She opened her mouthpiece and then pressed the button. Dino Thunder, power up, she called out in a flash of yellow light. She morphed into the yellow Dino Thunder Ranger. Luca crossed his arms and then pressed the chrono morpher. Time for Time Force, he called out, and in a flash of blue, he morphed into the blue Time Force Ranger. Leo flipped open his ground morpher, pressed the center button, and then held it up to his ear. World access, he called out, and in a flash of red, he morphed into the red Wild Force Ranger. Amy flipped open the Astro Morpher. Let's rock it, yo, she called out, and pressed the three-digit sequence. <laughs> then, in a flash of pink light, she morphed into the pink In Space Power Ranger. Xander held out his morpher. White Ranger Power! Xander called out, and in a white Ranger Power coin appeared in the Master Morpher in a flash of light, he morphed into the white Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. The six Rangers dropped into their fighting stances and ran at the monster. The Red Ranger jumped in fire, swinging his foot at it. The monster blocked it and jabbed him with his snake head fist, knocking him off his feet. The White Ranger came charging in Masaba, swinging hard and fast, slashing it several times before Current Tile smacked him away. The Yellow and Pink Rangers aimed their blasters and shot at the monster, striking it several times. But Current Tile aimed its snake hand 
and a green blast fired from its mouth and it struck both the girls. The Blue Ranger and Black Ranger jumped in, swinging their weapons, but Karantal grabbed both their weapons by the blades before pushing them back. The monster started laughing as it aimed its snake arm out and the prongs like teeth started glowing. Suddenly, the rangers started to weaken as their energy was being pulled out of them. The Red and Pink Rangers both dropped to their knees and demorphed. See, rangers, I eat all types of energy. Even morphing energy. Current tile chackle chackled. The yellow and blue rangers dropped to their knees next and demorphed. The black and white rangers both demorphed as well, following the rest of the team, but they managed to keep standing. Current tile lowered his hand and stopped draining them. Amy dropped to the ground unconscious. I don't think I can stand, Luca grunted as he tried to stand up. Guys, stay down, it's okay, Dante mumbled. Wanna try something else? Xander asked, gritting his teeth. Sure, Dante nodded. He held out his power morpher and it shifted into his growl morpher in a, fl a flurry of silver light. He flipped open and pressed the center button and held it to his ear. World access, he called out. Xander held out his master morpher. Dino Thunder, power up! He called out and the black Dino Thunder Ranger coin appeared in replacement of the white Ranger coin. Both of them morphed, and current tile was met with the Silver Wild Force Ranger and the Black Dino Thunder Power Ranger. Both rangers drew their weapons and ran at the monster. They both managed to slash the monster twice before getting struck down again. Current tile slammed his snake fist into the back of the Black Ranger, slamming him into the ground. Then he started to absorb the ranger's energy. Once again, he was forced into a statue-like posture as he found it hard to move, whilst he felt the power draining from him. Suddenly, he demorphed, then current tile picked up Xander and threw him, and he crashed into the leg of one of the electricity towers. Then the Silver Ranger switched his Luna Q to blaster mode and started firing at current tile, but he held out his snake hand and fired back. The projectiles collided and exploded. Then current tile aimed and extended his long slithering snake arm. The snake sank his prongs into the Silver Ranger and started siphoning the silver energy. He demorphed and Dante landed on one knee. Damn this thing! Dante grunted. Uh, having issues? A voice asked Dante. He looked up to see Adam stood there. Adam, you're back from Universe 19, Dante asked. <laughs> sure am, man, and I got a few extra surprises. Adam grinned. Dude, I have your power morpher. You aren't a Power Ranger anymore. Don't try anything stupid, Dante sighed, as he could feel the effects of his powers being drained. Uh, I got a little something a bit more... Ultra, Adam said, revealing his new morpher. This was all gold and had pointed edges. It resembled the Power Morpher and Ultra Morphers. The Power Coin had a three-headed dog engraved into it. Adam held out his new Morpher. Cerberus! He called out, and the morphing sequence initiated, and he morphed into the Gold Ultra Ranger. The Gold Ranger stood there, ready for action. You're an Ultra Ranger! Dante gasped as he stared at his mentor in awe. The Gold Ranger ran at current tile and double punched it, then jumped up and swung his leg, kicking it in the chest, sending it flying back. Then he ran up to the monster as he fell down and he slammed his fist into the monster's head. Current tile grabbed onto the Ultra Ranger and started absorbing his ultra good energy. The monster started wriggling and shaking. A mighty painful howl escaped the monster. The scale on its body started to shimmer all sorts of colour. Then the gold Ultra Ranger pulled his fist back and swung it upward and slammed it into the snake monster's chest, sending it flying backwards. The colourful snake called out as it hit the wall and exploded. Several balls of energy left the explosion. One entered the electricity plant, the rest flew into the drained rangers, reviving them back to their full energy and bringing them back to their springy energetic selves. Dante looked at the gold ultra ranger as he demorphed and Adam stood there, smiling at Dante. Dude, I can't believe you're back! And hell, you're an ultra ranger! Dante cheered. Everyone gathered around them. A what? Xander asked, confused. A very powerful version of rangers. They tap into a more powerful, potent, secret level of the Morphin Grid. Kind of like an upgraded layer, Amy explained. Sounds dope, Xander said impressed. So does that mean you're back for good? Or are you going back to Universe 19? Dante asked with an annoyed face. Actually, kind of both, Adam replied. How do you do both, dude? Luca asked. Well, my connection to the Ultra Grid is only connected for Universe 19. But I do have priorities here. 
So that's where Tri Triflora come came in. I left Earth and I worked with him, so I can master my Ultra Powers in both universes. It's kind of tricky, I have limits, but it's done. I can only be more for a certain period of time, and I do have to go to Universe 19 every now and then, just to allow my body to be reconnected with the Ultra Grid. I can help you guys at least. I can also help the Ultra Rangers when they need me. Adam explained. So you're going to go back and forth? Chloe asked. That's the plan. Adam chuckled. Glad to have you back, man. Dante grinned. You know, it's weird. Before I was adopted by Lucicon, I would never think you leading a team would be possible. That awkward little kid who almost won the Grand Martial Arts Tournament over and over was now saving the world, Adam said with a smile. Eh, I'd try, Dante said modestly. Hey there, Adam. Long time no see. Xander said awkwardly. Hey, kid. Nice to see you up and about. And nice to know that the Master Morph was in good hands whilst Tommy's out of action. Tommy would be proud. Adam told him. Thanks, man. That means a lot. Xander said with a nod. Guys, why are we all just standing here? Can't we just go home now? Amy moaned. She's got a point. Come on. CJ will want to see you too. Dante chuckled. Everyone agreed and they all headed home. In the land of that time and space, William looked at the Future Foundation chessboard. With a grin, he looked over at the Universe 19 chessboard as he placed down Adam's chess piece. Sorry, friends. Adam is on a loan. I need him for something. William grinned as he placed down the golden chess piece next to Dante's. He then walked over to his crafting desk and sat there and crafted a new chess piece. Another gold one, but this one had a samurai logo on it. Soon, Elib. You'll be needed. Our young Xander's in need of a team. And I'm afraid you're our first choice. William said, then he crafted another new chess piece. This one was black and red, and it matched Luca's chess piece. There you go, Luca. Your Yang counterpart is ready. A strong, powerful ranger. A leader. Sadly, you are one of the three who was split into two halves when the universe got divided. Oh well, I have worked it to our advantage. A new team of rangers dawn on the other side of the universe, and Xander getting his own team as well. Ha <laughs> ha! Finally! Things are all coming together. William chuckled as he looked at the two new chess pieces that lay before him. And there you have it, guys. Our next uh, chapter, Apparently Street Foundation. Adam Park is the Gold Ultra Ranger and our ninth Ultra Ranger in Paranger's Universe 19. If you want to check out the Ultra Ranger storyline, then please make sure you go check out Cosmic Dudes Paranger's Universe 19 podcast. It's a fantastic podcast, and I've actually got some stories over there as well. I've got my own Paranger team and a Kamen Rider story there too. If you want to check out the third Ranger Bro of the Three Ranger Bro Studios, me and Cosmic do being the first two, make sure you check out Mark the Red Corner Ranger, and of course, make sure you check out Nerds Through Comics, his podcast, where he his own original Paranger stories, plus he's adapting comic books into audio dramas you guys don't have to do comic books. That being said, make sure you check out the rest of this channel, I have lots of stories, and throughout January, I'm continuing Paranger Universe 113, we're continuing all the storylines, yes, we're adding more storylines. That being said, make sure you check out the other Tiger Tales channels. We have Tiger Tales of Lost Stories, Tiger Tales Game Over, and Tiger Tales Mysterious Origins. Each channel has its own unique motif, so you might want to go check out each one because you'll find stories that just are everywhere. <laughs> that being said, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like I said, and of course, I shall see you guys real soon.